Hello everyone. We have been summarizing favorite latest football news for you. Subscribes give us a like and hit the like bottom and share your favorite quote in the comment below. Real Madrid beats City rivals Atletico Madrid after extra time to advance to the semi-finals of the Copa del Rey. Atletico took the lead with Alvaro Morata scoring from close range following Nahuel Molina's low cross. Rio were 11 minutes from going out but equalized when Rodrigo beat three players and scored a wonderful goal. Atletico's Stefan Savic was sent off for two bookable offenses, before Karim Benzema put Real ahead in the 104th minute with Vinicius adding a third. Benzema steered a low shot past Jan Oblak after the visitors had failed to deal with Marco Asensio's low cross and Vinicius sealed the victory as he passed the ball into the bottom corner after a fine run. Mikel Antonio says there is a possibility he could leave West Ham in the January transfer window. Antonio, who joined the Hammers from Nottingham Forest for £7 million in 2015, confirmed he had been in contact with other clubs. Antonio became West Ham's top scorer in the Premier League in August 2021 with his 48th top-flight goal breaking Paolo Di Canio's club record. He has been linked with Julian Lopetegui's Wolverhampton Wanderers, as well as a loan move to Chelsea. Newcastle United midfielder Jolinton has been banned from the road and fined £29,000 after admitting drink driving. Police arrested the Brazilian player after pulling over his 2022 plate Mercedes G-Wagon in Ponteland Road, Newcastle, at 1.20 Greenwich Mean Time on January 12th. Liverpool's teenage midfielder Stefan Bajsetic has signed a new contract until 2027 at the club. The Spain youth international made his debut for Jurgen Klopp's side in August, shortly before turning 18. Real Sociedad have told Arsenal they will have to pay Martin Zubimendi 60 million euros, about 52.8 million pounds, release clause if they want to sign the midfielder this month. Tottenham are close to completing the signing of Pedro Porro from Sporting Lisbon in a deal worth 45 million euros. Poro has agreed personal terms with Spurs over a five-year contract, with the final details of the transfer fee the only part left to be agreed. Wolves have agreed a deal to land Brazilian midfielder Joao Gomes from Flamengo. The Premier League club had a £15 million offer for the 21-year-old accepted earlier in the month before the move was called off when Lyon approached the Brazilian side. Everton are expected to drop their asking price for Anthony Gordon after the forward missed training for a third day. Newcastle United have been confident of signing Gordon after holding talks with Everton over the England U21 International this week. Everton had been hoping to agree a deal worth up to £60 million for Gordon, however, which threatened to force Newcastle to walk away and pursue other targets. Marcelo Bielsa has arrived in London for further talks with Everton's hierarchy as they search for a successor to Frank Lampard. The 67-year-old former Leeds United manager is a favoured choice of Everton owner Farhad Moshiri. 10. Manchester City boss Pep Guardiola has said Arsenal's Mikel Arteta had a great, massive influence on him and helped him become a better manager. Arteta was Guardiola's assistant at City before taking the Arsenal job and the two sides meet in the fourth round of the FA Cup on Friday. I had the feeling, we knew it when he was here, his ability for City, said Guardiola on Thursday. I don't know my part on him but his influence on me was great, massive, so important in becoming a better manager. If I had left, Mikel would be here and he would be the best, absolutely. 11. Diego Simeone has reiterated his happiness with Atletico Madrid despite the club looking set for another season without a trophy. The Argentine saw his side let a one-goal lead slip in the Copa del Rey quarterfinals to rivals Real Madrid. Atletico's exit effectively signals the end of any silverware prospects for the season, with the club currently fourth in La Liga, 13 points behind leaders Barcelona, and also out of Europe. But Simeone reaffirmed his commitment to the Roger Blancos in his post-match comments, insisting he will not walk away of his own accord yet. 12. Ajax have sacked head coach Alfred Schroeder after a poor run of results. 
Schroeder replaced Eric Ten Hag after his move to Manchester United at the end of last season, and initially seemed to be a good fit in Amsterdam, a statement from the Dutch Giants read. The many points lost and the team's lack of development are the main reasons for this decision. The club management no longer has confidence in further cooperation. Ajax confirmed that assistant coach Matthias Kaltenbach had also been dismissed. 13. Colo Touré has been sacked by Wigan Athletic less than two months after taking charge of the championship club. Touré, the former Arsenal, Manchester City and Liverpool defender, was appointed Wigan manager on November 29. It was his first job in management. However, the 41-year-old was sacked on Thursday after just 59 days having failed to win any of his nine games in charge. Cristiano Ronaldo mocked with Lionel Messi's celebration as he vents fury in Saudi Super Cup Cristiano Ronaldo was making his second appearance for Saudi Arabian club Al Nasser on Thursday night in the Super Cup but he was mocked by Lionel Messi's celebration Abdirazak Hamdallah replicated Lionel Messi's goal celebration. The Moroccan rubbed salt in Ronaldo's wounds with his goal celebration mimicking Messi holding his shirt up when he scored a last-minute winner for Barcelona away to Rio. Madrid in an El Clasico from a 2017 La Liga match a game in which Ronaldo played. 15. Manchester United fans' celebrations almost end in disaster, as hoarding collapses Manchester United fans celebrated Bruno Fernandes' goal against Nottingham Forest resulting in a damaged hoarding. The police and local authorities quickly stepped into the situation in order to control the crowd and the match was resumed within a few minutes after some spectators were moved to a different part of the stadium.